What's up, world-class athlete? Do you want to be able to consistently close those short balls with confidence, but right now your balls are sailing long or dropping in the net? Not being able to consistently put away those short balls can be a really frustrating experience, can cause us to start to doubt ourselves, to feel tight, to have a lot of anxiety. I was someone who really didn't have the ability to consistently close. I would tighten up and as a result, players would beat me not because they were better than me or out hit me, but because I just beat myself. And that's not something that I want you to go through. I want you to have that freedom and that confidence to be able to pounce on those short balls, ugh, just like that. So that's why in today's video, we are going to master one of the most powerful approach shot sequences in the modern game. It's called the front foot hop. And by mastering the three elements of this stroke, the recognition, the footwork, and the stroke mechanics, you're gonna have that confidence and that ability to close both with power and consistency. So if you're as thrilled as me, if you start crushing those short balls, let's jump right into recognition. The first step for you to be able to crush those short balls is recognition. The best players in the world anticipate and recognize early that the ball is gonna be short. By doing this, it allows you to take the ball at uh, the highest point and allows you to take away the maximum amount of time from your opponent and also provide the maximum chances for you to be able to run around and hit the ball on your forehand side. So the key for you to be able to recognize that short ball early is you want to be in an anticipatory state of mind, actively looking at your opponent and making an early judgment as to whether or not the ball will be short. You can look at their court positioning, you can look at their body language, and you can also look at the amount of racket head speed that they have going forward into the shot. While factoring all these variables in, what you wanna do is right when your opponent makes contact, you wanna land an aggressive wide split step inside the court. By accomplishing these things, it's gonna give you the maximum chances to recognize that short ball early on and pounce on it with that confidence. So now that you understand how to recognize that short ball, let's jump into how you wanna position your footwork in your body before, during, and after contact. So the optimal way to use your feet and your body during this shot is once you've landed your split step, you're gonna take a variety of out steps to the ball. If the ball is farther away from you, you're gonna to wanna to take bigger lunging steps and the closer that you get to the ball, you'll take more adjustment micro steps. Once you load into the optimal position, you're gonna to wanna to get set into a neutral or a closed stance. From this position, the way for you to execute both power and consistency is to once you get set, focus on shifting the weight from your back leg to your front leg, just like that. As you shift the weight onto that front foot, you're gonna push off that front leg uh, and kick that right leg up for balance, just like that. So a quick recap, you're gonna land your split step, you're gonna move aggressively into the court, load into a neutral stance, shift the weight onto your front foot, drive off the front foot, and kick that right leg up for balance. Now that you understand exactly how to move your feet before, during, and after this shot, let's jump into exactly how your swing path should be to get the maximum power and consistency. All right, athletes, we've covered the recognition, we've covered the footwork, now we're gonna cover those optimal stroke mechanics. The key for you to being very consistent on this front foot hop move is to use what's called the windshield wiper follow through. Some common mistakes here that a lot of players make, especially when their balls sail long, is as they make contact, instead of generating topspin and keeping the racket face parallel to the net, their arm will contract and go through the ball just like that, causing the ball to sail long. So some key checkpoints that you can look for are once you set up in that neutral stance, focus on accelerating by pulling the butt of the racket forward and then internally rotating your shoulder finishing with the racket face pointed just like that. By accomplishing these key checkpoints, it's gonna allow you to get the most amount uh, of topspin. To get more power and prevent your ball from sailing into the net, what you wanna do is don't try and generate the power from your arm, but rather allow the power to come from the natural momentum of your body 
and forward momentum going into the shot just like that. So to demonstrate all these moves in action, we're gonna have one of my favorite students, Skylar, rip some front foot hops. All right, so bringing it all together, Skylar's gonna land that pro split, step in in the neutral stance, execute that front foot hop, and then recover back. Here we go, ready? Wide aggressive split in, front foot hop. Beautiful footwork, recover back, wide split, so pro little champ. Nice, great top spin. All the way back, split, get in there, front foot hop. So good, that's amazing footwork. Ready, wide split, get in there, let's go. Great, Skylar, here we go, five more. Really push off that front foot. Yes, great movement. Wide split, get in there, let's go. Great top spin, that's awesome. All right, here we go, Sky. last one, wide split, get in there. Bro, that's so good. Great job, little champ, nice. All right, athletes, so in this video, we've covered how to recognize, how to move your feet, and the optimal stroke mechanics to give you that maximum consistency and crush those short balls. I absolutely hope you love, love, love this video. I had a thrill and a blast recording it for you. As always, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on next week's video. Good luck.